Well, today marks an historic day in black history. 60 years ago, over a dozen young girls, now known as the Leesburg Stockade Girls, were released after being locked up for several months for their involvement in the civil rights movement. WLB News 10's Lena Allen shares how the surviving girls plan to share their decades-old story with the generations still to come. While this building sits here today refurbished, the Leesburg Stockade girls tell me they will never forget the unlivable conditions they had to endure after their freedom was snatched from them while they were fighting for other people's freedom. I survived, you know, with no type of sanitized facilities or anything. No bed to sleep on. You're sleeping on concrete floor in the small and sizzling summer. Over a dozen girls were arrested by police after participating in a peaceful protest in Americus. They spent three months in the four walls of the Lee County stockade in terrible living conditions, fearing for their lives. Their parents had no clue where they were during that time. But as a young child, I was raised to stand up for equality. And we went through some horrendous things to make that stand. When we when we walked out uh, and were really freed on Friday, September 13, 1963, uh, it, it was like a new life has begun for us. Now on the 60th anniversary of their freedom, the Stockade girls tell me they're not done telling their story. We, we gave up a lot. We went in as children and we came out almost with a purpose and a a claim of trying to get equality for everybody. We need to teach our young people and, and instill in them to fight for what is right. Streeter tells me she plans to publish a book soon, telling the story of the Stockade Girls. Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.